The Anway was dead. After successfully avenging his loyal retainer's death, Cao Cao set out in search of a path forward. A path of ambition. A path that would quickly and effectively lead him to domination of the land. A path that some would deride as cruel and ruthless. Cao Cao was determined to walk this path alone if necessary. He returned to Xu Zhang, and together with his new strategist, Jia Xu, he began plotting his next move. Yuan Shao and his massive army in Hebei. The self-proclaimed emperor Yuan Shu. Jia Xu determined that Cao Cao must solidify his current position before taking on these two mighty foes. Just then, Liu Bei, who had taken Tao Qian's place as ruler of Shu, came in search of help. He had been attacked by none other than Lu Bu, who had been under his protection. Cao Cao gathered Xia Hu Duin, as well as Liu Bei and his men, and set out for Xia Pi in Shu province. Liu Bei, Lu Bu, and Cao Cao. Among the fields of Shu province, three heroes of the age would soon be engaged in heated battle. Officer Chong Liao is a man of honor. We must act accordingly. You're gonna pay for stealing our brother's land. Everybody, no one touches Lu Bu except for me. Lord Cao Cao, I thank you for helping me recapture Shu province. Lu Bu is an enemy to us all. It was something I would have done with or without you. In any case, I am grateful for your assistance. I do not engage in actions that do not provide me with some benefit. This battle was the perfect opportunity for me to obtain valuable officers. For example, somebody like the Honorable Guan Yu. I... Well, it is about time I move out. Everybody, we march! Lay siege to Chiapi Castle. Lu Bu's time is up. Right then. I think we should go secure the Western Bay. My lord values your skill in battle. This is your chance to prove that he is right. I have nothing My blade's only purpose is to keep my brother safe.
questions like all of the others.
the land. <laughs> Someone tie this animal up. Thank you. 
path to build a new and better land.